مساء الخير نبدا مع النشيد الوطني اللبناني مساء الخير كل سنة بتجمعنا مثل ما كل يوم بتجمع شبابنا ما هي شقفة من لبنان ولبنان اليوم كله هون بناسه وصوره ومناطقه وبيوته المنورة بالعلم والمعرفة والإبداع هي الايوب بكل لبنان ولكل لبنان من وقت اللي طلت عدني من وقت اللي كانت مدرسه وتحولت لكليه الى ان صارت جامعه متكامله والالايو حلمه على حجم الوطن كله ومشاريعها لشباب الوطن كله ولما كل سنه كنا نلتقي بالعشاء السنوي كنا نترك هالمطرح محققين حلم ومبلشين حلم تاني بتذكروا ال 2012 Education for All وال 2013 The School of Fashion مع اليساب بال 2014 وقتها قلنا The most beautiful gift is the gift of giving ومنا قلنا donate to educate ل 2015 انتقلنا ل school of business ل 2016 ما بننساها لما اعلنا تحقيق الوعد للحمله fulfilling the promise ومن لحظتها ال LAU تابعت تتبقى رائده وسباقه وتنقل برامج الجامعة من العلم للإنوفيشنز للارتفيشل انتليجنس للريسيرش يعني لمرحلة متقدمة وكانت ال 2017 ال اي يو انوفيتس ال 2018 منتوج كل اللي حققناه سوا لأنه ال ال اي يو وصلت لهون لأنكم انتو دعمينا I invite you all to watch and listen to a true story full of dignity, pride and hope short true story My name is Tala. I'm majoring in education and I'm from South Lebanon, Pershuba. My name is Sherbil. I'm a computer science student and I'm from Zahle Bika. My name is Noor. I'm a television and film student, and I'm from Baalin Shouf. My name is Shafiq Badarani. I'm a marketing major, and I'm from Beirut.
My name is Noor. I'm a third year civil engineering student in the Lebanese American University, LAU. I'm a USP student and I come from West Pekka. That made me work very hard to get good grades, uh, to get the scholarship that I want, and to eventually get the job that I want, and that will uh, give me security when I grow up. In my high school years, I worked very hard to achieve good grades. I've always participated in extracurricular activities, especially my mom, she always supported me. She always told me about the activities that uh, took place in our village, in close villages. And uh, she made me love to participate in everything. My dream has always been to support my family later, my parents when they uh, grow old. I want to be there next to them and I want to support them financially and emotionally. My dad works two jobs. He's a blacksmith and also a bus driver. And my mother is a tailor. I can't describe how much my parents fought to support us financially and morally. They never made us feel like we needed anything. Uh, which I'm grateful for. They've always been our backbone, our support, our everything. What I really want to become is the backbone that they were to me. My name is Antonio Bajos. I'm majoring in finance and economics, and I'm from Sabal Zgarta. My name is Hussein Ali Yassin. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. I am from Nabatiya Kafar Tibnit. My name is Stephanie Astal. I'm a marketing student, and I'm from Batroun. هيدي مش بس قصة ولا صورة أو فيلم قصير، هيدي حقيقة بوجوههم وبحكيهم وبنظرة عيونهم لما كانوا عم يحكوا على الطرقات اللي كلها بتودي لإلن بكل مناطق لبنان اللي ال اي وجدت إلن وباقية معهم لمستقبل مليان أمان وعلم. كل ما نقول له إنه مبهورين بشخصيتك وفخورين بإنجازاتك كيف وصلت هالجامعة لمركزها الحالي وكيف طورتها كان دايما جوابه لحظة مش أنا في مجموعة كتير كبيرة معي وكنا كلنا نجاوبه صحيح بس المجموعة كلها بدها قائد ليدر يحدد اتجاه مستقبل الجامعة وانت الليدر LAU is here for you and LAU is here because of you دكتور جبرا تفضل Thank you so much جمعنا Good evening His Excellency, the President of the Republic, General Michel Aoun, represented by His Excellency, MP Lies Abu Saab. His Excellency, Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Nabih Birri, represented by Member of Parliament, Mr. Ali Bazzi. His Excellency, the President of the Council of Ministers, Sheikh Saad Al Hariri, represented by Mrs. Bahia Al Hariri. 
Minister Gattas Khoury, former ministers, Their Excellency, members of parliament, Mr. Fuad Makhzoumi, Mr. Ana Aoun, Mr. Hadi Hbaish, Mr. Diyad Hawat, and Mr. Nikola Sahnawi, Mr. Jamal Aitani, President of the Municipality of Beirut, representatives of the commanders of the Army and Security Forces, friends of LAU. On the way in, on the way in, somebody said to me, are you going to tell us a moving story tonight? And I said, I'll try. And now I am reaching back into my knapsack to find that moving story for you. A story that sums up your generosity and the mission of LAU. His father, please listen, his father was a real estate tycoon in Beirut. When he entered LAU, he did not have to care about who's going to pay the tuition or who's going to pay for his transportation or who's going to provide him with earthly possessions. His dad was a tycoon. Unfortunately, overnight, his dad, real estate, empire collapsed. And after that, the dad passed away. And that young student who was very anxious to get education was weeping, not only crying, ladies and gentlemen, he was weeping day and night because he wanted to get an education that is second to none, but he didn't have the dough, he didn't have the money to do it. Well, the word got to the financial aid office of LAU. They sent after him, and he told them the story. And the office said, you will get your education at LAU. They provided them with financial aid. They found a part-time job for him, and he graduated from LAU with a bachelor in business. And his cousins, his relatives, found enough money to send them to the United States to get his certified accounting degree from the state of California. And once he excelled, everybody was after him. Deloitte, Tush offered them a position that was second to none. They told him, you will lead our offices in the MENA region. You will be the chairman of our advisory board, and you will, in the United Arab Emirates, lead our financial services, and we are proud of you. He spent 12 years with Deloitte Touche, nine of them as partner. And because of his stunning success, Macquarie Capital, an Australian company, got after him and said, you must join us. He did. And he said, why do I need to join you? Well, they said, you need really to implement our strategic plan for the MENA region. He was appointed 
executive chairman of Macquarie Capital, meet me in a region. And he had to accomplish three main tasks. The first one, to increase the financial services of Macquarie. The second one, to strengthen their client base. And the third one, to promote their investment policy in the MENA region. His name is Wasim Mukaha. And because of his successes, he did not forget, ladies and gentlemen, please listen, because of his stunning successes, he did not forget the hours he spent crying, the weeping at LAU, and how LAU came to his help. He established a foundation, and recently we negotiated an agreement with him in which he committed that every year he will pay 25% of two students going into the business school. And he said, with my continuing success, I will continue to help students. When we signed the agreement, this is the touching point, the students were there. And I asked him to speak about their background. And they said, without this man, we would not be able to be at LAU. And you know what? They began to cry. They began to weep. He looked at them and said, look, LAU was there for me. I'm going to try to help as many students as possible. But I have one request from you. I am helping you now. When you graduate and become successful, you're going to have to help other needy students. This is something that this little story, ladies and gentlemen, brings together the generosity of people and the mission of LAU. We made a commitment. I want everybody to listen. We made a commitment as an institution of higher education that any man or woman in Lebanon who are qualified to come to LAU, we have the obligation, ladies and gentlemen, to provide them with that opportunity. This year, because of your generosity, we gave $35 million to support our students. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of LAU, the LAU family, on behalf of my colleagues, all of them from LAU, to extend to each and every one of you our gratitude. We need to learn to say thank you. Our gratitude to each and every one of you for your generosity, for being here tonight. Something that is absolutely astonishing. The whole of Lebanon is represented here tonight. This is an example of unity, of faith of face in our country. Secondly, I'd like to extend our gratitude to our sponsors who have done so much in order to sustain this event, something that is very, very important for all of us. Further, I'd like to pay tribute to those who organized this event that is an incredible event for all of us. And finally, Finally, I'll leave you with this thought. Lebanon is here for all of us. We all do our best institution, people, representatives, to keep this country together. With your help, we will. Thank you so much. I need to, I need it really to do it independently of my speech. I think it's very, very important to pay tribute to the gala dinner committee 
and Nasib Nasser and all those who worked very, very hard to make it happen. Please stand up and be recognized. Our gratitude to all of you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you all. الشباب الصعداء اللي معهم حنبني مستقبل ومعهم رح يكون عنا يمكن ايام احسن وايام افضل وفرص احسن وفرص افضل بشكركم وبتمنى نقضي سهرة حلوة شكرا ميرسي
نشكركم نتمنى لكم سنه جديده 2019 للطلاب وللجامعه تكون سنه ناجحه جدا شكرا للدعم السنوي للطلاب الاريو شكرا للي استقبلوني ودعيوني على هالسهره الحلوه ميرسي تصبحوا على الف خير